I installed new rubber bushes on this MGB about 2,000 miles ago and less than three years ago, and they're rotten already. So now let's get them replaced with polyurethane bushes. I've my little assistant in the garage with me today, keeping me company. So if you hear a little bit of baby talk, then you know what it is. First thing we need to do, get the car up on axle stands and get the wheels off. That was easy. Well, I found my clunk anyway. Anti-roll bar. At least I know what that is now. I wonder is it hitting the radiator or what's it doing? Anyway, we'll have a look at that later on. Uh, I do have new bushes for that. Unfortunately, they're the rubber ones, but they're easy to change in the future. So uh, what I will do is I will get these ones changed out. So first thing to do is get the jack underneath here and lift up the bottom of the suspension and just take some of the weight. You do not need to use a spring compressor on the front of an MGB. The, uh, the, you won't even get a spring compressor in there anyway. So uh, it's a kind of a moot point. So now with my trolley jack, I'm going to just lift up the suspension until the weight of the car just comes onto it, okay? There we go. Okay, so the, the, the weight is just on the trolley jack there now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take out this cross bolt. Don't be surprised, by the way, folks, if this is seized solid in here, if you're, uh, if you're doing this on a car that hasn't recently had bushes replaced, because they're often, uh, they're often seized in there and they can give you a fight. So uh, be prepared for it and be prepared to use a bit of heat and stuff like that, okay? Blip pin comes out first, obviously. 11 16th nut. What we're going to use is a drift to knock that through the rest of the way. Now, so we know that there's no tension now on that, uh, on that because what would have happened is if the spring, if there was tension on it, the, the, the suspension would have dropped and caught the drift, but uh, that didn't happen. So anyway, that's that bolt out. Uh, so we're going to lower the suspension down now. Okay, yeah, it's caught in the bushings, so let's... To be honest with you, I should really be using some sort of a, a soft-faced hammer or hitting that part there, because I don't want to deform the, uh, the bolt. I'll get, uh, I'll get something just to to stop myself from guntering that. Okay, so there's the, uh, there's the damper up out of the way. Okay, so now that allows you to take out these bushes here. And these ones actually don't look that bad, to be honest with you. It's more, the, it's more the bottom ones inside there. They're the V8 bushes. They're supposed to last a lot longer, but I'm going to poly bush the whole front suspension and rear suspension on this car, so uh, it'll it'll make a difference to the handling. Gives a little bit of a firmer ride, but look, you know, it's a trade off, um, and at least it means I shouldn't have to do this job again. I say shouldn't. So now let's uh, let's get them out of there. They're in two they're in two parts, so they should uh, they should come out fairly handy. Handy enough. So I'll actually keep these bushes, they're actually in reasonable order. So now, that means we can actually put our new bushes in there now. Uh, but we're not going to be putting this back on because what we have to do is with the spring tension off, we now have to undo our uh, nuts in here and there's a bit more of a faff to actually get these ones out. Okay, so what we're going to do now is with that, uh, with that removed, we're going to actually drop the, the jack down off the suspension. Now this will allow the uh, the spring to come out. I may have to take off that steering rod. I'm hoping not, but yeah, I think I will. Flip. Okay, yeah, it's it's going to be under too much tension. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, because the last thing you want to do is damage your track rod or something like that. So uh, yeah, we we'll get a uh, we'll get the get that buzzed out. It's all very possible to do these jobs without without uh, using a impact gun and all that kind of stuff. But to be honest, which impact tools are so cheap these days, it makes good sense to just go out and buy one.
Even Aldi or Lidl do uh, do them occasionally, and they're not bad. The other thing I don't like having to do is flute around with the uh, lump hammers and stuff like that when it comes to ball joints. I, that's why I have the ball joint separator here, which is makes life a little bit easier. There you go. Handy out. Right, now we need to make sure we don't stress our uh, brake line there as well. So, uh, let's just drop... Um, hang on a second now. need to think this through for a sec. Obviously, I don't want to have to disconnect the brake line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cable tie through there just to hold that up like that and then that, that'll allow me to drop the back section away. It's these lads you need to take off and then we're going to have to take two... Uh, we're going to have to take two bolts out of the, the, the back side of the uh, trailing arm. Now, I'm going to just leave that there for a second and get our cable tie. Now, okay, so we get the cable tie in here. And that's going to just hold that in place for us now. So now we should be able to drop off that jack. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's... The, what's holding it now is actually the anti-roll bar, so uh, which is fair enough, you know, but... Okay, so now that we have everything tied up and out of our way and all of that, what we can do now is we can take off the spring pan, okay? And the reason you have to take off the spring pan is because you won't get those bushes out of there without doing that. In actual fact, it's just it's the lower control arms that you need to take off, but the spring pan is attached to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo the two bolts that are uh, holding the spring pan on on this side. We don't need to undo it on the other side. We're going to leave it in place on that side. And then we're going to take off, take out the split pin, undo that nut, and then do the same on this side, this end here as well. And what that will allow us to do then is it will allow us to take this bar off, okay, this uh, lower control arm, and then, we'll be able, and then we'll be able to get the other side off. I'm really appalled at how bad these bushes are actually in here. And being that these are the V8 bushes, many people have actually told me that they're supposed to be better quality. Well, if these are the better quality ones, I'd hate to think what the what the other ones are like. Bloody rubber products. I don't understand where this mentality in manufacturers comes from that we want cheap crap. Like, the OEM rubber is not like this. So why can't we have that stuff? Instead of having to put up with this rubbish. It's very, very frustrating from a classic car owner's point of view. Especially when you're finding yourself doing the same job twice and three times. Okay. There's that nut off. I'll get this one now. Okay, so now. That's it. So now let's have a look and see what we're dealing with here. It's gone very, very spongy and very, very deformed. Let's get it over to the bench and we'll have a proper look at it. There are several ways in which you can push bushings out without having to use a, a press, but the fact that I have a press means I'm going to use it. But that being said, you can use like a threaded bar with a socket and you can use a, you could probably get these out with a hammer. Probably, to be honest with you, you could probably talk these into coming out. But uh, yeah. Anyway, they, these are way too, way, way, way too pliable now. That is, like, they're, they're, they're spongy. So, the car is never going to handle well with them like that. Right, so the other side is a little bit more tricky because you have to take off the uh, anti-roll bar drop link if you're going to bring it over onto the bench. And then you also have to take the bolt out of the bottom as well. But I suppose what you could do is you, you could take the spring pan... You could pull the whole assembly out if you were going to do it on the car, so to speak. Let's say, for example, if that lower bolt wasn't going to come out for you. But uh, if it does, I would take it off. So let's uh, let's get this out anyway. There goes that. It's going to drop now. It just dropped because the uh, it was the uh, anti roll bar was actually holding it up in the first instance. Now I'm going to be actually uh, in this uh, on this occasion I'm actually going to be changing that anti roll bar as well. So or not the anti roll bar, but the the drop link. It's not looking great either. The uh, the 
Rose joint there, but uh, look at for the moment anyway, let's just leave it be. Uh, let's get that uh, that nut off the back, uh, the inside, whatever way you want to look at it. Okay, wash it off and that actually just came off very handy there for me. So, so I'm going to get you guys out of my way and I will wang that out. New greases and everything like that on it. Uh, give everything a bit of a clean while we're at it too. So right, I'm I, now I can actually press that. But uh, you look at that, like I mean, that's that's disintegrating. So yeah, we definitely need to do these. Right. So uh, as the old saying goes, uh, reinstallation is the reverse of removal. Only a swear in different places. Uh, for in uh, for assembly, I'm going to use this multi-purpose lithium gre lithium based grease, which is actually ideal for polyurethane bushes. Allegedly, uh, I'm sure there's somebody out there who will disagree with me, but there there is the world of YouTube. So uh, right, we're going to grease up our bushes, and uh, we're going to insert them into the holes, and um, yeah, in insert tab A into slot B. So uh, let's uh, let's have at it. All right. So I'm just literally gonna butter up the butter up the bushes inside and out, and because these are in two separate halves, they just literally pop in there. We do the same on the other side, and then what I will do is I get all of this uh, reassembled. So that is that's one side done. So now. What we can do literally is just lift that on, pop it on there. So what we've done now is I've lifted that back on. I've put the washer on loosely there uh, and the nut. And we are going to put our bolt through with this uh, this little cup washer with the um, the rubber piece on it. Now the rubber piece is actually to go over the... It, go, it goes on the uh, lower trunnion uh, mount. So, sure. Right, let's see. And what I'll do before I before I'm finished here is I'm actually going to I'm going to grease everything up again, and uh, at least that way then we know there's all nice fresh grease in everything. So that's that's that bolt in, and the little yoke popped off the other side. Ow. Popped off the other side. Um, but we can get our A or B drop link on there now as well, and. Then we can get our bushings in the top. So, uh, so I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the spring in first. That's the that's the next thing to do. The really handy thing about these poly bushes as well is you don't need a press or anything like that to install them. They literally just pop in. All right, so that's that now. So what we can do is we can put this one on this side now and. We'll get uh, we we'll get our bolts uh, back into our spring pan and onto the lower uh, the lower trunnion as well, and uh, get that all buttoned up. And then we can have a look at this. Now I haven't put the drop link on yet because I still have uh, I still have to replace the uh, bushing on the anti roll bar. So uh, we're going to be doing that now in a minute. So I'm just putting the nut back on the lower trunnion bolt as well, and I will be torquing all of this up by the way. So. That is something I would suggest you guys do as well. Definitely good practice. Get all this lined up. Now, that's, that's just going to keep... There's nothing tight now, obviously. I'm just literally uh, going through and popping, every, uh, popping the bolts all in. And then we'll tighten it up afterwards. With these bolts, I'm not going to torque, but we'll just... We'll just do them up nice and tight. That's that one. And okay, that's that. Now we're going to run these down finger tight. I'm going to give them a touch with the uh, 
the impact just to get them get them into position and then what you actually have to do is take the weight of the car before you torque them up because they do uh, they, they do need to be able to twist now apparently it's not as important with the poly bushes as it is with the uh, standard bushes but we'll, we'll go we'll do it the pro oh, we'll do it the proper method anyway all right Right, so that's that. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to undo our cable tie here. Let this hinge down a bit more. It will hinge down because there's a uh, no anti roll bar stopping it. <coughs> In actual fact, it'll hinge right down. But uh, we can get the uh, uh, we can get the trolley jack underneath it, and then we can get our uh, get our top bushing uh, get our top bushing into place. So, so, same story, <laughs> grease them up, I'm going to actually stick a bit of grease in the, the hole here, grease up the bushes, bit in the, uh, in the actual, uh, there's, a, there's a metal insert in these ones, and then get everything all coated up, that one can go in there, and same crack here, See, these ones are very, very, uh, hard in fairness i don't think there's much forgiveness in these at all but anyway right so that's uh that's those in place roughly now i'm just going to get a cloth so i can wipe my hands so i'm not dropping everything out so just to get these ones in i'm actually going to give them a squeeze with the channel locks just to get them all the way home because they do have to go in between the uh yeah see that that's seated them nicely there now. They have to go in between these, so so as they don't put up too much of a fight, it's better off that they're home. All right, so now, lastly, we need to get that spring into place. There we go. And I'm gonna just Lift everything up a little bit with the jack. Just get gauging how far we actually need to go here. A good bit anyway. It is hanging by the brake line, but it's it's only just. It'll be alright. So if you remember, we lifted it until it was just lifting the car when we were taking it off. And that seems to have been a, a fairly sound strategy in this instance as well. Yeah, just just not enough clearance there to get them through. So uh, so let's uh, let's do that. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is undo the pinch bolt on this uh, inner piece here. There's a pinch bolt up here we have to undo and then there's a bolt here we have to undo so what that what that will allow us to do is to pry this uh pry this 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 uh part of the uh what essentially forms the upper wishbone and uh, as part of the the shock absorber and um that means we can get that out so uh could be a bit of fun but sure we'll give it a go we'll do this one first I'm going to do this one first. I'm actually going to take that out all the way. I'm wondering if there's even enough given that without having to undo the pinch bolt at the back. There might be. I think there will. Now, okay, where 
is my bolt. Okay, I'll grease up the bolt. You cannot put too much grease on this bolt. If you ever want to get the thing out again, make sure it's well lubricated. come to that now in a second I'm gonna to need to twist this a little bit to get uh, there's a flat that goes up against the shoulder on that side and we need to we need to get that all lined up right okay now tap it the rest of the way home okay now now the thing is I'm gonna give you a piece of advice here folks do not stitch the nut on this bolt because if you do you're going to strip the threads on it Ta uh, talking from experience here so really you just have to go to the torque figure and don't send send the yoga duggers because you're just going to end up there uh, ruining your day so uh yeah nb right so i'm just gonna do this up with a ratchet you can see it's pulling everything nicely into place All right, leave it be there for the moment. I'm gonna do up this one in here. That's 916, so we get a, get a 916 socket and spanner. Uh, right, okay, so next thing we can do is we can jack up the carriage. Well, it actually is up enough. It's off the axle stand. So what we can do now is we, if we jack up the car and, uh, or if we uh, get the torque wrench on the inner wishbone uh, nuts, get them torqued, get the lower uh, the lower trunnion uh, nut torqued and the upper trunnion nut, uh, get them all torqued up. Then we can uh, say that the suspension uh, as it stands is finished and we can get on to doing our, geez, our wishbone or our anti-roll bar. That bushing is just the complete wrong size for that. <laughs> Bloody hell, I mean, it's, it's like three mil of play in that. Anyway, right, that, look, we'll, we'll fix that. We have the technology, we can rebuild it. Okay, so the torque settings that I'm finding are 45 foot-pounds. Uh, it says that the uh, rubber, rubber bushings are to be installed dry. I find that very hard to believe, to be honest with you. But anyway, look, the, the uh, poly bushes are greased, so. All right, that's that one. Okay, and that's that one there as well then. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to turn it on to the next split pin hole as well. Well, actually, that one's not far off the mark. We'll get new split pins in there as well. I'm going to torque up the other ones as well, and we will uh, uh, we'll go from there. Um, but yeah, like now that they're actually torqued, or uh, yeah, now that they're torqued, I can actually let the jack off. Um, I don't think I will yet. I'll just hold off for a second. I'll get that torqued first. Okay. Next one is this one and it's 40 foot pounds. All right, that's that. This is gonna make a big difference to how the car handles. And the lower pivot here is getting 45. Seems right anyway, in fairness. So uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's them all done. So now uh, we can get our split pins in and then we'll get onto that anti-roll bar. Right, I'm gonna do the anti-roll bar now. So now that it's disconnected at this end, there's no tension on that, so. Now that definitely has to go anyway. It is the wrong size. It, 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 there's actually two different size anti-roll bars and I reckon it was just replaced with the wrong size one. All right, the new bushings I got are actually the wrong size as well, so. I'm going to just put the old one back on, but what I'm going to do is just for the moment, and this is de this is definitely a bodge, but uh, I will be replacing, I'll be ordering new bushes as soon as I'm finished this. Uh, I'm going to just wrap it with foam tape just to stop that annoying clunking. So uh, it'll it'll stop it'll take up the clearance temporarily until I can get the job done correctly. Yes, I know it's a bodge, folks. I know. But to be honest with you, as I said, it's just to get rid of that annoying noise. I know, I know, uh, it's not ideal, but um, yeah. 
it's not like it's a steering component it's the anti-roll bar so all right so that's this side actually done now all of the uh the bolts are back in and tight i've just gone through everything made sure that they're tight by just throwing a spanner onto them and any other ones obviously with split pin that they're, they're supposed to get a split pin now have a split pin anti-roll bar is reconnected and there's obviously the two things I need to correct at a later stage. One is get a new bolt for that, and the other is to get the correct bushes for this. And that will get done, mark my words. It will, it's definitely gonna get done. Next thing I need to do is to bring this little, uh, this little fella who's making all the racket behind me here inside into the house. And then at a later stage, I'm going to get the other side done. So I'm gonna leave it there, folks. I hope you, uh, I hope you got a bit from this video anyway. And um, if you have any questions or any comments, observations or anything like that, Please do comment below, let me know what you think, and if you like what you see, please do hit the like button, it makes a big difference, and don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I will see you in a future video. Thanks for watching, talk to you soon. What do you think, mister? <laughs> You're happy out there, aren't you? You like it in the garage? Not sure yet. Yeah, but another budding mechanic. This is the youngest fella. Just celebrated his first birthday. Isn't that right? Well, both sides are done, everything's greased up, and the difference is amazing. I have to say, the car is really, really tight, and it's driving lovely now. So, uh, yeah, there's actually a massive difference in it now, to be honest with you. But to be honest, it's, made, it's, it's accentuating the problems at the back end now, so next thing to do is to do the rear suspension. So that's gonna be, um, that's going to be the next uh, the next thing to attack. So yeah, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.